What's up guys, my name is Labums and you're watching Alte Daily. Basically, I'm a video creator and I also work as an on-air personality and all in all, general creative man. I, I like working in the creative space. Yeah, at Cool FM 96.9, you know, we're popping right now in Lagos. If you don't know it, I think you should check it out. The dial is 96.9. If you're in a car, you can check us out on social media anyway, right? On Friday nights, it's called the Party Club Mix. Happens from 9 to 1 o'clock. Basically, me and a DJ playing different songs, and we're just vibing and hyping everybody stuck in traffic and that type of stuff. Initially, I started working with the digital team there, like on social media strategy, content creation, that type of stuff. And I start, started editing videos too before I got the show. So it, it was a whole process, a long one. I can't really go into it, but it was fun too at the same time because I got to learn, you know, meet people, that type of thing. The vibe is nice, everybody is chilled, everybody wants to show you what you want to know. Like, it's not, it's not a situation of because I'm, I'm a legend or I'm popular, it's that I don't want to hang around a certain, you know, type of people because they're below me or that type of thing. That happens in a lot of places in Nigeria, by the way, right? It's a chilled vibe. If you want to learn something from somebody who is a legend, take someone like that, he freeze. You want to learn something from him, you just walk up to him. He shows you, he teaches you, like that's the vibe. Everybody is chilled, man. We're 21st century thinking type of you know, setting. In my head, I feel like I'm a hip hop DJ, but <laughs> when I play stuff, it just, uh, I mean, it's cause I've been playing it to myself. So I feel like I'm still terrible at DJing, but, uh, I want to be a hip hop DJ and I want to play only like alternative music, hip hop, that type of thing. I'm not really looking to enter any, like, um, I, I don't feel like the DJing part of me is something that is going to take off. It might, it, it might not, right? Because I've not been investing so much time in actually learning it like I've, I did with other stuff. stuff. So, you know, whatever happens, happens. When I hear radio presenters and radio people, I feel like people expect us to just be good at playing music. And how do you stand out? You know, I can play music. I have a couple of playlists that when I put out now, somebody is going to like, how did you know this song? How did you? So I thought maybe if I was a DJ, it would be better because it, it fits in, you know, to that whole world more somehow. My, my thing with videos is I, I like to watch weird stuff. Like I, I, I like watching videos created by people who are heavily inspired by like DIY mentality, you know, skate videos, that type of thing. So I look at someone like Virgil Abloh with the type of content they create for like Off-White, you know, those type of videos inspire me a lot. But when it comes to creating, I mean, music videos, if, 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 if I work on a music video type of project, then there's going to be a, a, a little bit more money in in a sense or if you're working on a fashion type of content for someone so I, I i just don't try to box myself in in as as one thing like this is the only type of video I, I make or i want to make so i try to just diversify and do different types of video anyone that takes off like to like mainstream takes off right basically i've been doing more of like um event type of video you know you do a concert i edit it then i do personal stuffs too like you you have a show you're shooting a music video i do the bts or that type of thing you know it's it's, it's i i wouldn't say it's it's something a lot of people are trying to get into because i feel like it's a niche type of video making i i got into videos by mistake bro like i i, I didn't i didn't think it was something i i would be talking about today like it's something i do fully because i had this cousin she wanted to start a production studio like photography videography and i had to learn because I, I i was the only person helping her and i had more idea of how this works than she did at the time right so i started learning i didn't like doing it but along the way i guess i got you know better and better as i kept practicing and it became more and more interesting and the passion built too and i feel like it's i'm super i'm, I'm equally passionate about making videos and 
being on the radio which is important because most people will be like i have to choose one i don't want to get my priorities twisted in a sense right but instagram and whatever type of social media youtube is like the greatest gift anybody can ever give you because people literally don't have to do nine to five anymore you can survive by just selling stuff or doing stuff selling your services whatever it may be on social media so i started getting interested in how they work and what you need to put out if you want your page to be big how many times you need to post that type of stuff and i feel like um, it's really an interesting thing to actually go into and find out because it helps your page personally but also it gives you this edge over other people you know when you talk about social media so the potential of you creating a career out of that too you know is still there right i think i'll ideally like to get into music videos not films for because <clears throat> I, I i feel they're doing more experimenting you know in 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 a way because when you try to get into like the filmmaking industry in nigeria i, I don't think they are i mean they're dope but you know I, I i i i was never really inspired by that type of stuff so uh, i think it's music videos for me man i i i, I really like um what's this guy what this guy does tg omori in any, do you know do you know him no. No, i think he's been doing so many videos like for all the chat topping guys right now i think it's really dope when i look at myself now i look at myself a year before or two years before now uh, i see significant growth and i just wanted to continue like that right i don't want to take any step backwards i would rather keep going forward and just create things that make me relevant to the people I want to be relevant to I don't know if it makes any sense right I'm not at the same time we're all trying to make money and we're doing creative stuff so you get paid for it but I also I, I I'm I'm the type of guy that looks at legacy right you, you want to create that art that people will look at and be like man yeah this is something that this guy is he's he, he's got it you know well, what worked for me was I, I I tried my best, even though I went even when I had no opportunity to like be on radio or have access to like a lot of on-air personalities. I tried my possible best to like watch videos, hear different radio stations. Like I listen to Beats One literally every single day, and there are times that I like just go to capital extra you just you just try to fuse in different knowledges of like and to be honest with you there is a system and there is a way radio is done in nigeria that if, uh, the old style you play song you talk you talk but people in that industry are actually trying to change that narrative too so now it's all about pop culture you know play 20 songs talk for like two minutes people don't want to hear you talk attention span is really short so you have to put all these things in mind as you're learning to be an on-air personality. So don't go and be looking at someone who was famous like in the 90s <laughs> on radio. And you feel like, if I mean, he can inspire you and you can take a few things from him. But you have to keep yourself current and know what's going on in that industry before you get into it. Because it gives you this edge over other people that you would probably start with at the same level. And you just stand out. And that that standing out alone just it puts you at the top man ladies and gentlemen my name is la booms and you can catch me on the party club mix on 96.9 cool fm from 9 to 1 o'clock every friday night and you know what you're watching ote daily right now the alternative network